In the annals of outlaw biker history, the name Per Michael Joe Lundgren stands out. Born on 22 March 1962, Lundgren's life was a turbulent ride that ended abruptly on 17 July 1995. Greetings, dear viewers. It brings us immense joy to welcome you once more to our exploration of the mysterious and perplexing. Today, our focus is directed towards the enigmatic unsolved case surrounding Per Michael Joe Leungren. Should this narrative capture your curiosity, I extend an invitation to join our community by subscribing and activating the notification bell. This ensures you stay abreast of our future uploads. Now, as we embark on this journey, take a moment to brew yourself a comforting cup of coffee. Find a comfortable perch, allow time to unfold, and brace yourself for a profound exploration into the depths of the Per Michael Joe Younggren case. He was a Swedish outlaw biker and gangster who etched his name in history as the first national president of the Bandidos Motorcycle Club in Sweden. His life and death were intertwined with the infamous Nordic Biker War, a violent feud between the Bandidos and the Els Angels. Lundgren's journey into the world of outlaw bikers began in Helsingborg in 1981, when he joined the Rebels Motorcycle Club. The Rebels had ties with the Els Angels chapter across the Oresund Strait in Helsingborg. And it was through this association that Lundgren met Hells Angels member Jan Face Kroch Jensen. In 1984, Lundgren and Jensen, along with another Danish biker, founded the White Trash MC with the goal of establishing a Hells Angels chapter in Sweden. The White Trash MC soon became closely associated with the Black Sheep MC. Els Angels Prospect Club in Roskilde. Following the Copenhagen Biker War, two Black Sheep members, including Jan Clark Jensen, sought refuge with the White Trash in Elsenborg. However, the spring of 1986 saw the closure of the Elsenborg Hells Angels chapter due to an internal dispute. That same year, a police raid on the White Trash's clubhouse led to the discovery of weapons and stolen goods, resulting in Lundgren's imprisonment and the subsequent disbandment of the White Trash. After serving his sentence, Lundgren withdrew from the biker scene, following the birth of his second son in 1989. He spent 1991 riding through the United States with his friend Lars Kale First Carlson, another former Rebels member. Upon his return to Sweden, Lundgren joined the Morbids MC, a club formed in Elsenborg earlier that year. In 1993, a brawl between the Morbids and the Rebels in Stockholm left several Morbids members beaten. The Els Angels in Malmö later offered membership to the Rebels and Morbids, but only if the clubs merged and excluded Lundgren and Carlson. The Morbids, a small club with just six members, rejected the offer. Instead, they affiliated with the Undertaker's MC in Zealand, which had contacts with the first Bandidos chapter in Europe, located in Marseille. The Bandidos patched over The Undertakers in December 1993 and the Morbids followed suit in January 1995, with Lundgren becoming the Bandidos' Sweden national president. However, the foundation of the Bandidos chapter in Helsingborg marked the beginning of the Nordic Biker War, as the Els Angels immediately attacked it. Lundgren's life was cut short when he was shot dead while riding his motorcycle on the E4 motorway 
in Smaland. The murder remains unsolved, but police believe members of the Els Angels to be responsible. Thus ended the tumultuous life of Per Michael Joe Lundgren, a central figure in the Nordic Biker War and the first national president of the Bandidos Motorcycle Club in Sweden. On the fateful day of 17 July 1995, Lundgren was returning from a visit to the Finnish branch of the Undertakers in Helsinki. This branch would later become a Bandidos probationary chapter the following month and be fully patched over by October 1996. Accompanying him was Jan Clark Jensen, a recent convert to the Bandidos from the Els Angels. The pair embarked on a ferry to Stockholm and then rode their Arlie Davidson motorcycles toward Elsingborg. However, Jensen's motorcycle broke down in Lungby, leaving Lundgren to continue the journey alone. As Lundgren rode his motorcycle on the E4 motorway south of Markerid, Smaland, he was shot. He fell off his bike and was run over by a car. An ambulance rushed him to a nearby hospital where doctors initially thought they were dealing with a simple road accident. It was only at the hospital that it became clear that Lundgren had been shot several times with a firearm, likely a Carl Gustav M45. Despite wearing a flak vest, one of the shots had penetrated the armour, striking him in the back and ultimately leading to his death. The circumstances surrounding Lundgren's shooting are shrouded in mystery and speculation. One theory suggests that he was shot by a sniper, a claim supported by the testimony of two witnesses, a Danish couple. Another theory, backed by the police's technical examination of the bullet's trajectory, proposes that he was shot from a car driving behind him. Despite these theories, Lundgren's murder remains unsolved and has become a cold case. However, police believe the Els Angels were involved. Evidence obtained from a mobile phone network indicates that Els Angels members' phones were used and moved along Lundgren's route from when he disembarked in Stockholm. Suspects in the case include a Hells Angels prospect club from Helsinki, the Choppers MC from Stockholm, which gained prospect status from the Els Angels shortly after the murder, and another Els Angels prospect club from Elsenborg. Rumours suggest that the latter were alerted to Lundgren's location by a corrupt police officer. In a presumed act of revenge, Undertaker's members fired a rocket-propelled grenade at the Elsinki clubhouse of the Els Angels Prospect Club just eight days after Lundgren's murder. Thus, the saga of Lundgren's life and death continues to reverberate through the annals of outlaw biker history. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon. Take care and be kind to one another.